Did you ever say to a person when they sneeze, God bless you, or bless you? Did you think you were just being polite? Well, there is an association with this saying. And it's a very common superstition that's practiced all over the world. It's believed that saying, God bless you, dates back when Pope Gregory the Great decreed that prayers be said to fight against the deadly plague in Italy. The plague seemed to be fatal to those who sneezed. So it followed that a sneeze represented certain illness, and using God bless you would protect people from getting the disease. Saying God bless you is also believed to date back to when the Black Plague took over Europe. The violent sneezing was noted to be one of the end stage symptoms before death. So the Pope made it a law that anyone who sneezed must be blessed as the individual's death was close by. During that same era, everyone was mandated to cover their mouth with their hand or a cloth so as not to further spread the disease. There's other superstitions surrounding sneezing that someone sneezed, it was a sign of good fortune or an omen of bad luck. This dates back to the early Greeks, Romans, and Egyptians. They believed that a sneeze was their own personal prophet, forewarning them of danger and forecasting future good luck or evil. One would be congratulated upon sneezing because the evil spirits were freed from embodiment. For the most part, the number seven is associated with good luck, and it's still universal. Seven wonders of the world, the seven seas, seven continents, seven hills of Rome, the seventh inning stretch at a baseball game, seven colors in a rainbow, seven spots on a ladybug, always a good luck symbol, seven days of the week, the seven-year itch, snow white, seven dwarfs. Also, it is believed that the seventh child of the seventh child will be physically gifted. Coins placed over a deceased's eyes were meant to pay for a trip to the underworld and is a very old ritual that is still popular in some Mediterranean portion of Europe. It dates back to the Greek religion but was changed and adapted by Roman Christians. Charon was the soul doomed for eternity to ferry people across he demanded to be paid. If the person was unable to pay, then they spent eternity in a limbo-like state. If the family made sure to include a coin with the body, then the spirit would have that money to pay for the trip. Once ferried across the river, Archeron, the soul would appear before Hades himself to be judged. These souls that were found wanting with evil would be sentenced to eternity with various punishments, as outlined in the book by Dante. These souls, the souls that were good, would be sent to the Elysian fields. Originally, the dead were buried with a coin under their tongue, but the habit changed to a coin over their eyes during the Roman times after the start of Christianity. Remember that the eyes are considered the window to the soul, so placing the coin over the eye makes sure that the soul 
will have them in the afterlife.